To blame the governor, you know, the soulless corporations in big tech, you know, and there's, there's plenty of problems there. But, uh, you know, the, the, the really the degradation in human society has to come back to the question of human sin growing worse. The prophecies we saw in 2 Timothy chapter 3 speak of the degradation of morals and people becoming lovers of themselves, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. The churches seem to have lost all their spiritual power no longer willing to call sin by its right name, no prophecy being taught, no gospel power, as it might offend somebody. You know, we kind of skirt around the edges of everything. Did you know less than one in 10 Christians today, one in, less than one in 10 Christian families prays together during a given week ever, except at mealtime? That's Christian families. What is going on in our society? Less than one in 10 Christian families reads the Bible together during a given week. Less than one in 10, it's according to the George Barna Institute. And this worsened during lockdowns. Lockdowns, that's a prison term, but technically the, the legal term would be house arrest. Half the world was under that. That was a major move. But during those lockdowns, we went from 13.7%, according to Christianity Today, went from 13.7% of the population reading their Bibles down to 8.5% of the population reading their Bibles during lockdowns. Uh, if you didn't follow those numbers, let me just round up. 14% of people were reading their Bibles before lockdowns. During the lockdowns, 8.5%. That's a huge drop from 14% down to 8 point, That's almost a 50% drop. So what happens then to the social fabric of a society that is tearing apart and a culture that is degrading into nothing but self-seeking? Well, John Adams said it. We have no government armed with power capable of contending with human passions unbridled by morality and religion. What is he saying there? Our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to govern another type of society. If we, have not, if we can't self-govern to a certain extent by God's law and choose ways of peace, then our, our limited government isn't capable of, of, of contending with those human passions that are unbridled by morality and religion. So when there's no social conscience, when selfishness reigns, Freedom vanishes. The Bible says righteousness exalts a nation. We know that from, from the word of God. When you click on the top right where it says start your free trial at beltoftruth.tv, please do not binge watch the full series of Technocracy. Enjoy it. Enjoy all of our material, media on the brain, second beast rising, raising the remnant, all of it. Do not binge watch or I would not be the media on the brain guy. Now right to the clips.